Have you heard about Anchor? Who hasn't heard about Anchor by now? It's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. That means zero dollars come out of your pocket to make your podcast. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will even go as far as distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many other platforms. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Cheers. Welcome to Whiskey Wine and DIY. I'm Nick. And I'm Paige. And today we're coming at you with what, twice as much deja vu. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Redo. So, Nick got a new computer. Yeah. And we recorded this episode last week. Yeah. And when I went to save it, I don't understand this exactly, <laughs> but somehow it not only corrupted the files, but it corrupted all the autosaves. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. I stewed on it for far too long and then just rage quit out. Um, but we're going to try this again. Yes. I so that's re- why there was no episode last week. Right. So I've rebuilt everything. This should be nice and golden now. It is on the new computer. It is on the Mac Studio. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. We're not using the broke down joint from eight to 10 years ago anymore. Um, so, I love the broke down joint. <laughs> well, I know. you. It, it works great for what you're doing. It just doesn't, it, like it messes with my workflow. So I wanted to port everything over um, in lieu of the new desk that nobody gets to see for like another month. Mm-hmm. Um, and then <clears throat> we'll do something about this eventually. Yes, that's a beautiful desk, by the way. Why, thank you. Mm-hmm. Why, thank you. You guys will see it in May. <laughs> it's so funny. So they sent me the thing that they wanted it to be come out on the May 18th or whatever, and I was like, okay, that's great. Um, the company that that paid me to do the video. Um, and I was like, okay, great. And then they, the, and they were like, and please add this to the video. And they sent me this big old long thing about the sale they're having in April. And I was like, you guys said you didn't want the video to come out until May. And they're like, you're right. And I'm like, well, isn't it a little weird to talk about an April sale in May? And they're like, oh, a good point. (laughs) Wow. Got some uh, heavy hitters working there. (sighs) Man, you know, I'm sorry that to anybody out there that works in marketing, but there's a lot. I'm not saying there's not some smart people in marketing. There's a lot of numb nuts that work in marketing. It's really easy to agree to get. Just saying. Apparently, yeah. Yes, I knew a lot of people that went in, went into marketing that I, I wouldn't trust to <laughs> change my oil. <laughs> oh no, changing your oil takes skill. Mm-hmm. So of course not. All right, so I'm my own motherfucking marketer. So cheers. Cheers and clinkies. And clinkies. To, to episode new... times two. <laughs> to this... the redo. The sequel. No, the, the the reboot. The reboot, that's it. The, the reboot, reboot when you never heard the first one. I'm rebooting fucking everything on this joint. Eh, it is the trend. Did I tell you that they're rebooting uh, Pitch Perfect into a series? I feel like you did, but I'm guessing it's not going to have Anna Kendrick. The only person that's returning from the original one is that kind of doughy, like, round face dude. The weird one? Yeah. Damn it. I love Anna Kendrick. What was he just in? He's in something else recently. He, oh, he's the Manny in... Uh, yeah, in, in and, Modern Family, but we're yeah. like several seasons back. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't judge us. We just started watching Modern Family not too long ago. <laughs> but he is, yes, he has a character in that. Still he's weird dude. The Manny. Yeah, he's Manny in there too. I mean, he's, he's a weird dude in there too. Um, But uh, how's, your day, how's your week been? Um, My week has been... Has been... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The worst part was uh, so it didn't occur to me. Um, now that the kids can fasten their own seatbelts and do all that stuff, like I don't really pay much attention to my back seat. You know, they get in, I hand them stuff. Not often either. Not often. No. And so I went to look for something in the back seat yesterday, and wanted to vomit. You didn't pick up the actual seats, did you? Oh, God, no. Yeah, don't look under those. I don't. <laughs> don't look under I was those. so disgusted by what I saw. I'm like, I just need to burn the car. You Where's the gasoline and a lighter? Let's burn this bitch down. You take that to a car wash. You say, please clean under the seats, and you tip them 20. 
<laughs> that's what you do. Don't look under there. It's bad, I'm, bad I just news. know that after seeing that, um, one, I told the people that I was going to drive tomorrow that I'm not driving now because I don't want anyone to have to try and ride in our back seat. Um, <laughs> that would be cruel and unusual punishment. Two, I just try to block it out of my mind until I can get it cleaned. Vacuum cleaner. Gross. Yeah. Tip somebody to do it, man. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll have my detail guy come out and do it. I don't want to touch that. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll make it for a great video for him. <laughs> like world's nastiest cars. I know, right? It's it's up there. Oh, just things. I mean, you know, you expect some of the wrappers and drop candy, but just the things crushed into places, and I don't know. Oh, and yeah. I said, I don't want to look under the car seats. Oh yes, yes, it's 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 a treat. It really is. <laughs> so that's been lingering in my mind all week. <laughs> all week? Didn't you just complain about it today? Yesterday. Okay. That was that was Monday. Today's Tuesday. All week. All right, all right. I know it's kind of a stretch, but yeah, yeah, but. all week. Huh? And I'm trying to decide. Oh no, what I want my next project to be. Pants. I know. First, I have to Jamie finish pants. sewing the pants, but I'm just not. I'm just not loving and into sewing the Jamie pants. So I'm trying to think about something I can do after it that I want to do. Oh, uh, so you're trying to set yourself a little goal to so to get through the Jamie pants. Yeah, so I can get through the Jamie so pants. So is it you don't want to do the Jamie pants or is it just the fact that I was asked you about the Jamie pants every fucking day? That that second one. Uh, okay. Okay. See that was see my motivation that would be my motivation <laughs> to get him to stop asking. Yes. Here's your fucking Jamie pants. <laughs> Take your Jamie ass and go do Jamie ass shit. Um, someplace but, else. but you guys will match. You'll be so cute. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't decide if I want to make um, like hanging bookshelves next, or if I want to paint the hallway and hang my alphabet letters and make some alphabet letters for the missing ones. You know, that would be really good uh, practice on the scroll saw. Uh, it would, it would. What? what kind of noise is the dog making? What do you call her? Dog. Oh, I thought she said the pwn. Uh, <laughs> I, I think she's whining. I'm not sure exactly. Like a, an orca whale? She's just staring at us, making some noise from the couch. There it is. Oh, no, oh. And she knows we're talking about her. That, that's a that's a grump right there. <laughs> Suggy, <laughs> Suggy baby. Hey, baby. Things we do on our podcast. <laughs> yes. Well, I was trying to get her to make more noise. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I can't decide if I want to basically do something to the hallway. She's trolling to make you. it look good, or she is trolling me, um, or make bookshelves. Mm. That's my. Hmm. My dilemma. Your dilemma. Mm -hmm. I wish I had your dilemma. Yeah. I, I put a video out on Monday mm -hmm. um, about the top secret laser I couldn't talk about, which is uh, it's made by Saint Star. Saint. It's made by Saint Smart. I cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's like the Jinsuku or Jinsoko. Is it, so it's not top secret anymore? It's not top secret anymore. Oh, okay. they, they, they basically asked me to make the video. I sent them the video and they're like, please don't put this out for like three months. So, oh, it's been that long. Oh, it's been a long time. Um, and I like the unit, but it just like after a while, I'm like, oh God, I just want like, this is in my queue now. I need to get it out. Um, so that came out on Monday mm -hmm. and they immediately emailed me and said, hey, we watched your video. When are you going to make another one? And I emailed them back and I said, I have 21 projects in front of you. <laughs> so if I can work it into one of those, I'll let you know. Ma'am. I know. The dog is, is very talkative this evening. Um, so tonight we're gonna talk about puppies. No. And kitties. No. And bunnies. No. And squirrels. No. Okay. Uh tonight we're gonna talk about imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. That comes up ever so often. That comes up a lot in the maker community because you don't necessarily go to school to be like a master plumber or anything. You know, a lot of stuff is like you learn it on the fly. Yes. And so a lot of times you learn just enough to make something work, mm -hmm. you know, and then and then maybe you move on. Maybe you learn a little bit more about it. Um, and I have a feeling that a lot of people... Because the internet is a a cruel, bitchy, uh, angry place a lot of times. And you get a lot of people that are like, oh, well, I've only done this one way my entire life mm -hmm. because I live life on like a couple of, of train car tracks with blinders on <laughs> and nothing else could possibly be right. So you are wrong. And I feel like sometimes 
um, when people say that you're doing something wrong and you don't have all the background knowledge on it and all you did was learn from somebody else, that you start to doubt yourself a little bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it it just kind of sucks. And I I just feel like, uh, I feel like a lot of us go through that because, I mean, you know, a lot of my videos are, I am doing something for the first time. True. And most, uh, like, I guess most people that tune in know that. Yeah. So that doesn't bother me so much, but it's the jackass that's probably never watched any one of my videos <laughs> that has called me a dipshit for doing something wrong, uh-huh. which normally I point out in the videos. True. You like, are very good about pointing out. You know, that. oh, I should have done it this way. Mm-hmm. This latest video, which I just found out I can't put out tomorrow. It's got to go out Thursday because there's g- gag order business again. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> I didn't read the fine print. You know, no. I just read, all I read was the gag order is lifted on April 13th. That's tomorrow, right? And then I was like, the weird thing is they're doing a live at like 8.30 at night. So I went and looked and it's like the gag order is lifted at 9.30 p.m. <laughs> it's like, man, so it's coming out on Thursday. Anyway, but I was doing, I, I did this video and w- in the cr- course of making the video, I totally jacked up a project mm-hmm. and printed it upside down and backwards. I still like, honestly, I still don't know I had some hiccups with the machine because of the way it's built, and I sorted those out. But this one, I don't know why. That's why I brought it up because I'm like, listen, everything by by all by all things that I had discovered up until that point, it should have printed fine. So I put it in there, and like I said, it printed upside down and backwards, which is unusual because I didn't manipulate it mm-hmm. in any way. Yeah. Anyway. That sounds like something, well, I would do, but it actually sounds like something you would do. Well, it would do, so if I hadn't, so I had something uh, print backwards, mm-hmm. and I, like, I'm not going to get into it, the, the, like the details are in the video of why it printed backwards, and I figured that out, mm-hmm. so I corrected it. I gotcha. Then I went to do a different thing, and I ran a test to make sure it was going to print the right way first, and mm-hmm. it did. Yeah. And then I ran it. And it ran upside down and backwards. And that's what I don't understand. Because you didn't change anything. I didn't change anything. I did exactly, uh, like, I, I did it the same way the test dictated. Which is so unlike you. What, to do the same way the test dictated? To not change something. Oh, um, yeah. Well, this is true. Um, anyway, but I feel like a lot of us out there kind of get the syndrome, especially, especially with the trolls, man. I guess that. For controls. So one thing I wanted to ask you, kind of like imposter syndrome wise, do you feel more um, as a maker or as a YouTuber? Um, I feel. And I, I really don't like the term YouTuber, but that's. It's 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 there to stay. Yeah. Um, content creator, but it's still. Oh, you're a YouTuber. It's it, it's a it's a it's a. Um, age thing like like younger people like to be called youtubers Mm -hmm. and so i don't really care um i would say more so with the youtubing of it uh but uh, like a lot of makers that i'm uh, that i'm talking about Mm -hmm. they're putting out some sort of content yes okay so like instagram or tiktok or youtube yeah so they may not be putting out like i do kind of like how to stuff a lot of times Mm -hmm. or this is the process and i show you my process yeah which, by the way, unless you have something constructive to say, if somebody's process is their process and the end product is the end product, fucking go away. I know, right? Um, but I feel like being in internet world, that anytime you show somebody how to do something, even mm-hmm. though you're trying to help people out, there's always going to be that one asshole oh, that yeah. says some shit. That's sitting behind a keyboard. And and listen, I get I get some of the most amazing like DMs and comments on my videos and stuff from from my subscribers and my fans that I, I mean it's awesome. Mm-hmm. But I God, I can't remember who said it. Like it, it was Dave Pashuto. Um, he said one time he's like you can get a hundred great comments and you get one shitty one and all you do is dwell on the shitty one. Yeah, that sucks. It does suck um, because I really don't get nearly as many negative comments as I do positive. By mm-hmm. any means. Yeah. So I don't mean to sound like that, but it's like that one, it's 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 instilling doubt. Mm-hmm. And I think that's where the imposter syndrome comes from, right? Like somebody- The, the some, seed of doubt? Some asshole pipes off, mm-hmm. pipes up, 
pipes uh, does something with his pipe. <laughs> his very Smokes short, a pipe. His, I don't his know. very short pipe, and uh, and, and then like you're sat there, you're sitting there, kind of wondering if you could have done something different or better, or maybe you're not you know, worthy. Yeah, and and I think it, I think the thing that kind of sucks about that is, and and makers, you know this in your head. There's like anybody that tells you there's only one way to build something. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're that they're fucking wrong right there. Oh yeah. Okay, there is there's ten to a hundred different ways to build mm-hmm. just about everything. More than one way to skin a cat. That's right. But we're not talking about cats. <laughs> we're no. talking about pussies. No. Um. It, it just. It, but so anytime anybody's like that's you're wrong. That's not the way you do it. Mm-hmm. Most of the time they they just don't like like it, it, this. That's ignorance is what it is. They were they've they've learned one way all their life to do something and they cannot accept the fact that you're doing it a different way. Yeah, that makes sense. Um I'm kind of wondering because I've also heard people kind of say they have an imposter syndrome feeling. Um with the other thing, like when they get the positive comments, like, oh, you're so cool or you're internet famous or whatever. Like I noticed that, you know, the your focus is on the the finding the negative and and kind of well, drawing you down but i've also heard that too and, that and like I maybe s- i'm not i can see that i i can see that because i i feel like i've been i i don't want to sound fucking like an ass hold please um i i, I don't by any means think i'm like some rock star level <laughs> maker or anything I, I just want to preface it with that but i feel like i've been on kind of both sides of that mm-hmm. to a certain degree as a smaller smaller youtuber or smaller channel and then now like a little bit bigger channel yeah. i don't have a huge medium channel. size channel yeah um and i there's there's a couple things that i have a problem with i don't know if i consider this imposter syndrome though i have a problem with calling people my fans mm-hmm. even though people are very straightforward with they are my fans mm-hmm. like i do have fans you know like mm-hmm. it, it took, took me a long time to be able to like actually say that like even in business conversations i'm like you know my viewers or my subscribers mm-hmm. it, it, like fans is just a like it just doesn't feel right um and i don't know like i don't feel like i am as popular as i am i guess because i guess i, I guess i don't see like all the con- you know uh, like everybody's thinking yeah. like every once in a while there's a there's a facebook group that i'm in mm-hmm. and that i will like i'll put a you know i'll answer a question or something like that and somebody else will comment like oh my god you're build dad build like i didn't know that <laughs> you're in this group that's so cool and i'm like see to me i'm just a guy in a group commenting on some shit I don't, i'm not like with all my build dad build knowledge i am telling you this <laughs> i'm you know? going to bestow upon you i think it's because you don't yeah. leave the house enough <laughs> yeah right you live in a little bubble. Well, I do act like I'm the king when I go to Home Depot. <laughs> and they don't know you from anywhere. No, no. <laughs> Where is my crown of uh, screwdrivers? And they're like, what? what the fuck do you want, man? Weird guy. Yeah. Security. But Security. I don't know if I get it that much from that. I do... I guess it is imposter syndrome. I do feel kind of like maybe some of it isn't, it hasn't been earned enough, but you know what? I've worked my fucking ass off too. It is. But the funny thing is you saying that that's totally imposter syndrome, you know? Yeah. Because you have worked your ass off. You continue to work your ass off. You answer questions. You talk to people. You've worked to build your channel. You interact. God, I'm freaking stuff. X tools support line. Um, I had some, but, but yeah, like that's, and then you were like, I don't know if I deserve that. That's imposter syndrome. <laughs> I, you, yeah. Well, that's just like that's because I'm modest. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, no, I mean, I just, uh, I like, I, I just feel like I'm, I'm just a guy doing some stuff on the internet. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. With a little flair. With a little flair. Little attitude. Little Ooh, fire. A little bit of attitude. A little bit of attitude. Oh shit! I got. Mm, we got a. We gotta review some some snippets after. So uh, here is here's a cool thing, I guess. Um, Grill Blazer, which is pretty much my first ever like affiliate deal, really. Yes. Where I was actually making money on a on a weekly or monthly basis by kind of wrapping their product. Mm-hmm. 
And honestly, I re- well, I know I, I did reach out to them and I, you know, I asked them if they send me a grill blazer and they did. Mm-hmm. And I didn't ask for anything in return at that point. Yeah, you just wanted you just wanted the cool looking gun that shot fire. <laughs> exactly. That's all I wanted. And I thought it was cool and it was made in the USA and stuff like that. You know, it was like made by some good old boys. In Oklahoma. Yeah, in Oklahoma. So I reached out to them and asked them if they would send me uh like send me a, a grill blazer and then i and then and and bob the owner of the company called me and he's like we had the super awkward conversation because he's an engineer so okay so he's awkward by nature he's awkward by nature and he's like so what exactly do you want and i'm like well i want free shit but i can't <laughs> say that like how yeah. do i say that how do i say that in a in a a a good way and I don't have anything to back it up mm-hmm. if I have a business conversation with you now and I'm asking you to fr- send me free shit I can explain to you why you should send me free shit I yes. can give you numbers behind it and things like that but I didn't know any of it so basically we kind of had a handshake agreement he sent me a couple of, of girl blazers and a couple months went by and then he, he called me one day and he's like man he's like I don't know what you're doing but he's like last month I think it was it, like I, it was like last month he's like you did like thirteen thousand dollars in sales for me <laughs> and i was like wow okay like i didn't have any way to track it i think i he gave me a he gave me a, a, a affiliate code like a, mm-hmm. a percentage off code and i gave that out but i couldn't see anything and he's like so i know I've, i always i will still say this is cool he's, he's like i kind of want to bring you on as an affiliate you know and 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 you make money off of this but he's like, also since like August, never forget. He's like, since August is such a huge month, he's like, I'm gonna ret- make that retroactive. That was cool. And I was like, holy shit! So he's starting a nice big fat fucking check, mm-hmm. which is nice because I hadn't gotten shit from anybody at that point. Like I had done a couple of deals where maybe I got paid once or something, or mm-hmm. like I reached out to Loom Cube and tried to wrap one of their things and didn't do any sales. And I, I don't know if you guys know this, but like some companies, you can just kind of like. They just have an affiliate program. Yeah. So you sign up for that and then you get your affiliate link and all that stuff. Like um, um, Raycon, I think, does that. Earbuds. They, oh, I'm uh, like, I don't and, know. Uh, it might be is. Isotunes too. But basically you could just go make yourself, you can make yourself an affiliate. And like then if you sell can, stuff, yeah. Then you get um, So I'd done it. some of that. But I really hadn't, I really hadn't made any money, and that was the first time I made money. And so I, I just always thought that was that, that was a very cool thing. So now we just had a conversation. Well, he sent me an email. Um, he tried to call, but he didn't answer the phone. <laughs> yeah, Nick doesn't answer the phone. Um, and uh, basically, he was saying, "Hey, like, um, I want to use some of your footage in my paid advertisement." And he's like, and I never like, you know, the way our relationship is, we never, we never had a formal contract. So he's like, I'm kind of hoping that you'll say it's okay because I still have, you know, I have creative control over all my content. And like, if he uses that, like I can, you know, I can make that claim. Yeah. I don't like, and, and, and and, like, I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Um, and like, he's still like my first, my, my, he's my first. He's my affiliate virgin. And you lay. love those. Yeah, I do. Torches. I, I, I gun do. Torches. I was actually kind of bummed. Uh, I was having a problem with one of them and I thought it was going out. Mm-hmm. And I contacted him. And he's like, oh, no, 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 you just need to do this, this, and this. And I did that. And it's it, it, that's what's nice about the, the owner of the company also being the guy that engineered the thing. Mm-hmm. Because he's like, yeah, he's just like, pop this out and clean this and, and you'll be fine. And I did and everything worked right. Uh, but I think it's funny that now it's like, you know, he's coming to me and saying, hey, you know, can I use your stuff? And I'm like, oh, yeah. So he's so we have a couple of snippets we have to review of okay. him using my footage. OK, that's really cool. That is the uh, progression of your relationship. The full circle. I like the full circle. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Like. I don't I, 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 I won't say that I won't sign a contract. I, I Like, I don't mean that at all, but I do kind of like the simplicity of kind of the handshake deal. Like we Mm -hmm. can just part ways at any time because that puts me in a a position where if I don't agree with your product, you can just try to have to continue to work with you. Mm -hmm. Um, which is the, that, that is, that's well, aside from like my channel just getting taken down, my worst fear is I'll sign on with somebody like to rep their product and then find like a fatal flaw in their product or have, have a big issue with it and feel like I can't, like say, say that the because I'm thing. under contract. Oh. So anyway, that's just a that, that, that that's always a that, that's that's a that's a business fear of mine. That's a that's a that's a business Nick fear. 
So understandable. understandable. You don't understandable. you don't really get business nickel a lot of times. I don't know. Another shit to do. Yeah. Like hang out. I don't know. So I would say um any imposter syndrome I have would be around just being called a maker. And I think part of it is like a volume thing. See, but here's because the deal. Because I don't make stuff very often. I just say this. I'm like, honestly, the reason that the that the, 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 the term maker is such a kind of loose term is because you don't have to be grinding it out on an Instagram channel or have a YouTube page or anything. If you make something and you enjoy it, if it brings you joy. Aw. Aw. You don't throw um, it away. <laughs> Huh? You don't throw it away, right? Then I feel like that. I feel like that makes you a maker. Um, and the the term maker was never. I don't feel like the term maker was ever conceived to be like everybody has to be a jack of all trades either. Mm-hmm. I think it was like, oh well, you know, hey, we've got woodworkers over here, but then we've got people that work with epoxy, and they're both making things and they both both might be making furniture but are, are they furniture makers no they're just they're just makers because this guy over here with epoxy may be making you know charcuterie boards too or whatever and but but he's that doesn't make him a woodworker right that or does it and and then it's like well, wait um a lot of a, a, a lot of woodworkers get into like leather work or metal work or something and it, then it's like well wait a second so you're a leather worker or are you uh are you a metal worker mm-hmm. I and, gotcha. and, and i think that the, the term maker just is, is like hey we all like to make stuff in our own stuff. you know our own vein mm-hmm. and it's constantly evolving i mean 3d printing wasn't around 10 years ago right or 15 years ago sure. i guess um or was laser engraving for that matter, you know, to any to any degree where people were doing it like in their house for a hobby. So we wanted one term that kind of like encompasses everyone. Very true. Very true. And um, yeah, I like the kind of eclectic approach, although I've, I'm going to have more stuff to try out soon. Such as? Um, just some some things that had piqued my interest, so I just kind of had saved them on a list in Amazon, and your mom was like, I need birthday ideas, so I pointed her in that direction. So, so what, are, what are we talking about? Um, your, candle. your birthday was like three months ago. Probably. I know, and okay. and your mom asked me for that like a week or two ago. But, you know, for, in, in her defense, she's been in the hospital. True. Um, so I just went with this list of things that I was just like, oh, that might be cool to try someday. Um, so candle making. Okay. And bottle cutting. Ooh, bottle cutting. Mm-hmm. I looked into bottle cutting for a while. Yeah, so I'm gonna be. Getting, I might be getting. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna be getting supplies for <laughs> for those for my half birthday. For your half birthday, nice. All right. Um. Well, okay. So stay tuned, kids. Mm-hmm. I really want to practice cutting wine bottles, what? and we have plenty of them. Yeah, so. so I know they're easy to find around here. So are you looking to get one of like the cutters that you? Sp- spin the thing on or like there's a bunch of different ways to cut to cut yeah that you spin the thing on so that's supposed to be like one of the more more accurate ones you ever seen them do like they they take the i want to say it's like a it's like a rope or like a string string, string and yeah. acetone and yeah, yeah and you put it on there and you put it in the hot water and the cold water and yeah i feel like i would injure myself I, it, the thing what i've noticed is when people do that until you get like your thing down you get a you get a bunch of failures mm-hmm. where it doesn't it, you know it doesn't break exactly where you wanted it to or something like that. I could totally see that happening. But so this year I'll have more Ooh, types of crafting to try. More making. More making to Woo-hoo. make. Maybe one of these days we'll take you to workbench con. Ooh. Ooh. What are you with the kids? In? <laughs> Ooh, take them. Um, take them. They just. Uh, I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they'll have fun walking around <laughs> everything. Of course, of course. Um, so basically what we've decided is everyone has imposter syndrome for yes. one reason or another. So what I wanted to address before we get too deep is um, I thought we'd both pick like three makers that whether they have imposter syndrome or not doesn't really matter. We just need to sh- shout them out as you shouldn't <laughs> because you're really good at what you do. Yes, I would agree. Do you need a minute? No. 
Okay. I don't. Because I've actually, like, last time we recorded this, I was thinking about different people and searching through stuff. And then it occurred to me that my Instagram feed is full of awesome people who definitely should not have imposter syndrome. So I'm just going to go. All right. So the first one is Odonata Woodworks. All right. Not only is there an awesome dog, but... (laughs) Oh, he's an awesome dog. She does um, custom hardwood furniture and decor, stuff with like light and epoxy. I just love like just the different color and the blending, like mixed medium, the wood and and epoxy and things like that. Um, So I love her stuff. She definitely is... Not an imposter. Speaking of, I will put all of these people's Instagram uh, links in the description, the show notes. So if you want to go check them out, you can. So my first one is my homie, Ethan Carter. Um, He is an excellent leather worker. And I feel like me and and Ethan have known each other for a while. And I I feel like anybody would not uh, would undeservingly have uh imposter syndrome it is him and i would just like to say that he should not i agree his stuff is really cool and enjoy watching the videos um my next one is beauty botanicals with two s's and she does hand handmade bath and beauty products Um, But the coolest thing is the lotions that she makes. They look like fluffy icing. Oh, Um, And I will say she gets a lot of negative comments about things, um, which she totally shouldn't like. I haven't tried her stuff. I actually am probably going to order some soon, but it looks awesome and amazing. And I know if I tried to make something like that, it would not be that cool. So what kind of negative comments does she get? Um... How much stuff is in the jar? Because she posts a lot of videos like where she's filling jars. Oh, um, like there's not enough? Ingredients. Yeah, which yeah. stuff about like a lot of like. That's because people she's are getting, idiots. People, she's scamming people. I don't know. It's, oh, my God. So did you hear about. So just the, uh, the scamming people thing. Did you hear about the girl that uh, she was. Or you might have told me about this actually. Now I think about it. Um, she she found a sweater she really liked, but it was $300. So she goes to TikTok and she's like, I'm going to, I'm just going to try to make the sweater myself. Mm -hmm. So she made it herself and then a bunch of people asked her to sell it. So she started selling it for $100. (laughs) Very quickly, she had to stop selling it for $100 because she couldn't recoup her costs. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was like, oh, maybe that, you know, maybe not, maybe not 300, but it was damn near, you know, it was worth 250. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I did not know that one. My, my second person that should not have imposter syndrome, and I know she does because she told me, is Kristen Sawdust, um, lipstick and saw. Lipstick and sawdust. Lipstick and sawdust. Just no s. Um, she uh, she kind of mentioned at WorkbenchCon. Uh, well, actually, she mentioned it after the fact that everybody has uh, uh, imposter syndrome, which just kind of led me to believe that she thinks the same thing. And she does really great work. She's an excellent craftsman. And I'm going to say craftsman because she gets a lot of shit for just being a woman, which I think is bullshit. Um, yeah, but I could see that. Yeah. Um, or a craftswoman for that matter. But she, she's, she's, a, she's a great woodworker regardless of gender. And uh, she should not have imposter syndrome. True. Um, my last one I'm choosing today is Rot and Wood, and he makes, basically, he does a lot of things with wood and carving. He makes a lot of combs, like beard combs and things like that. They're just Beard like, combs are huge right now, Very man. intricate. Everything has like a Viking look to it. Um, oh, nice. and it, and it looks all hand carved to me. So, um, very talented and very cool. Awesome. And if you had more of a beard, I would totally buy you one. But I just like I was I can't remember what I was reading recently, but um, somebody was oh, it was on one of the laser groups and they were saying their best seller is beard combs. Yeah, I thought about buying one for our brother-in-law because um, sometimes he has the big bushy beard. <laughs> but what about uh, sometimes you get one for your dad, man? He loves that shit. 
Yeah, but I feel like you need like a longer, bushier beard and for a beard comb. You're dad would eat this shit up. I know, but his beard's too small. But it's it wouldn't matter. Come on, you'd see him just 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 grooming away, grooming away at his grooming beard. away. Maybe they would do that one for short, stubbly beards. Uh, I'm sure it's just yeah, it's just a shorter uh, teeth on it, right? Yes. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a piece of wood. <laughs> Um, let's see. And my last person is Jacob of Maker Cuisine. Oh, good choice. Who I would say, like, not to say anything about his woodworking ability before, but I think the way he's rebranded is just really come into his own with, like, a kind of a different idea or a different take on what everybody's kind of trying to do with YouTube mm-hmm. and things like that in the DIY uh, universe and he what he basically what he does is kind of a fusion between the making and the cooking so two things he loves right but he kind of is 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 combining those he's mm-hmm. he's, he's making a it's a woodworking fusion, fusion. i would say fusion the word fusion is gonna come out of your mouth <laughs> um and i think he does really good work i think he's really kind of found his voice and found his path and i think he should not have imposter syndrome i agree Chin chin. <laughs> well, you say I agree every time I say something. So, I just, uh, okay. It, it felt like you're so wrong. <laughs> not what I was saying. It's not what I meant. Uh, it was it just like right. I concur and I concur and I concur. I said, uh, "Ooh, what did I say?" Uh, I can't remember the word now. Set screws. Set I, screws. I, I, was, okay. I was I was editing a video today and I realized that I say set screws like. A good 10 times in like three sentences. Wow. Set screws are that important, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, um, so on that note, I think uh, I think we're done for tonight. I think we are too. So I'd just like to say, thanks for playing. Keep making shit. Keep making shit.